This is my Stanley all-in-one boil and brew French press coffee maker. They retail for about $21 at Walmart. This is the Stanley Adventure Cup. This so far has given me the best coffee I've had out in the wild. It's easy. Uh, some specs on this, stainless steel, Stanley brand, 32 ounce. It has a plastic lid and of course the French press itself. After you make your coffee, you leave the liquid inside the pot. It kind of acts like an insulator so it keeps the liquid warm, your coffee warm. Where the real magic happens for this for me is inside. Now, this is just a quick view of the strainer or the French press. As you can see, it's just kind of a plastic. I guess this is plastic, kind of plastic nylon. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But uh, it's inside the pot, outside, and you see I use this thing a lot. And this is where I had a lot of heat baking bread or baking a muffin on a uh, gas stove. It allows me to use a full-size mini loaf bread pan to bake with. And what I do is I take this stainless steel grate that we picked up off the side of the road. Someone was throwing a grill away. We always pick those grates up because they come in handy. But that goes right inside this pot just like that. And it gives some space so you get hot air you know, circulating around your uh, whatever you're baking. And that mini loaf pan fits right on top of that. So the problem you have is you can't use this while you're baking over coals. This will melt. So I searched the internet high and low and I was able to find a universal stainless steel pot lid from Adventure Resources. These were four dollars and ninety-five cents. Adventure Resources. I'll put a link to this. I'll put a link to their uh, website below. Survival Resources. Thanks, Gabriel. I always get. I, I'm not sure. I'm getting older. <laughs> I'm forgetting things. Survival Resources. This is their universal pot lid, and it fits on top of this perfectly. Now the problem I had with uh, trying to bake with this. Again, obviously you can't use the plastic lid. You have to use a stainless steel lid, but as you can see, when you have that grate in there, it doesn't fit. It doesn't close, it's not flush. So what you have to do is take this lid and turn it over so that it fits like that. And as you can see, this, uh, this lid fits perfectly. And the way that I get this to uh, stay on there while I'm baking is I took a rod from an engineer stake and I bent it so that it goes right around this cap and just kind of holds snugly around the lip of the cook pot. And hopefully this is in frame here. So basically that's it. That's the system. That's how it's held on. I may come up with a, another little idea but right now this works. So we're going to leave it on there. So we're going to bake some yeast bread in this today. I'm going to make up some coffee. And just show you how easy it is to use this French press. And a quick demonstration on this universal pot lid. This is the Stanley Adventure Cup. Everybody's familiar with this one. I love this cup. I absolutely love it. This fits on top of it. You have a little, it's a, you know, it's a little bigger. It goes around that edge just a little bit. But, I mean, it's 
you ever lose the lid to your Stanley Adventure Cup, this is the one to get. Uh, it also fits on the four four. It also fits on the four dollar Walmart stainless steel cup. So, really neat piece of kit here. Fits on all these, and again. It fitting on that French press like it does puts it over the edge for me to uh, for this to be my go-to cook kit. This bread is in the middle of rising, so we're gonna have to wait a little while for it to rise a little bit. But the recipe is very simple. I'll put a uh, link to that to our website once this video goes live, so that uh, you can get that recipe. It's easy to do. Milk, water, sugar, salt, flour, yeast, butter, all that great stuff. Uh, rapid rise yeast is what I use, instant yeast. And as you can see, this is the full size mini baking loaf pan. Let me try that again. This is the mini loaf baking pan. And what I had to do with the Stanley Adventure Cup is take that pan and trim it down so you can see the difference in the size there had to trim it down so it would fit inside of the stanley adventure cup now with this larger cook pot the whole pan fits inside there. And again, the problem I had initially was getting this to stay on with that lip. So you just turn this around. It's almost as, as if it were made for this French press. The fire's almost ready, so we're gonna get this I may, that may be all I'm gonna let this rise because when it begins to bake, it's gonna rise in there anyway. But you can see it's a good amount of clearance in there. It doesn't touch the sides. Plenty of room for it to rise as it's baking. This is just a wonderful kit. I absolutely love this thing. Uh, sometimes we can take I have another piece of metal that I have that locks these in place where you can set this up off of the ground like that so that you can get coals up under it. But today we're going to leave these on top, place coals on top, and set this directly on the coal bed. Sticks up there, and you just kind of ease it on. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put my gloves on and put this on the coals over there. Put some coals on top. I'm going to bake it. Being that it's this small. 15 minutes maybe cooking time baking time especially at this temper the temperature that those coals are hot so go ahead and get those on off and lay them over here so I can get back to them pretty easy. Now the heat coming off, being reflected off this rock wall is just magnificent. 
Another reason why I like these, easy to take this off without burning your hands. So, okay, I want a little more brown on the top. But actually, you know what? It's looking good, it's looking good down on the sides. It's not burned on the sides. We'll test on this. Oh yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, and here's the second loaf going in. Mm -hmm. now, again, I really love the fact that you can fit an entire mini loaf pan inside this. Oh yeah. So perfect for muffins it's perfect for blackberry cobbler which we'll be doing one of those videos here soon it really just makes it easy to it, it just well it really just makes it easy that you don't have to go trimming the sides down on these mini loaf pans and then worry about it you know rusting later where you expose the metal it's just easy just to buy it straight out of food line and it just work in your cook set I'm eventually going to upgrade to one of these because I, I really like how you can make your coffee. And then with the lid Dad found after a little searching on the internet, you can easily bake in it and get really, really nice turnouts. I mean, this is, that's awesome. And of course, we've done a muffin in this already. Mm -hmm. And that was extremely good as well. So being able to do coffee and being able to bake in it, has really set it over the edge for me, and I'm definitely going to buy this next. Uh, how much was it? Twenty. Twenty one dollars. Twenty one. Next twenty dollars I get, I'm this probably going to go to this. So, loving it so far. I picked it up and put it down at Walmart so many times because of the price. You know, I already had the Adventure Cup. wasn't sure that I wanted to just have something that was dedicated specifically to just making coffee, but it's not just dedicated to making coffee. It's a steel pot. You can cook in it, you can bake in it, you can boil in it, you can fry in this. I mean, it's just, whatever you can do at home in your oven, you can do in this. Whatever you can do at home on your stove, you can do in this, just smaller, smaller portions. <laughs> That's the bottom. <laughs> Looks a little dark there, but that is not burned by any means. Mm -mm. This is absolutely perfect. <laughs> to combat the uh, cracks like that, normally you'd want to take a knife and cut a slit down the center before you put it in the uh, your oven. But uh, I didn't do that today, <laughs> and that's okay. Just let this cool off for a little while, protect it from the bugs. I'm just gonna wrap it up in this bandana. Give them a hard time in the comments for a hot pink bandana. Uh, hot pink bandana. Nothing wrong with a hot pink bandana. <laughs> high, it's high vis, high speed, low drag. <laughs> Anybody can see this. So uh, set that to the side and let it cool. Had a little wind break here. Wind is coming through here, and it was really a lot of oxygen to the coals at the bottom. So, just had a small wind break. So, we're going to check this bread real quick and see what it looks like. I can smell it, and it smells fantastic. So, again, these butterfly handles make it really easy. To remove this from the fire. Still need gloves on there. So, let's see what that looks like. Oh hey, hey. boy. Let's see if it works. Well. A little wood ash. Ain't gonna hurt you, Gabriel. <laughs> You grew up on this stuff. Okay, so. That's 
what we're looking like right there. Let's mm -hmm. do the uh, thump test. Sounds done. Oh, look at that. Hey. And that's uh, really hot. <laughs> so, all right, let's let that cool, get some coffee going, have some bread. All right, guys, so what we got going on here, two breads. This one's going to be mine. This one's going to be dad's. Both turned out great. Big advantage of the French press, being able to use the full mini loaf pans. Really works out great because you can, again, you don't have to worry about grinding the sides off and then worry about it rusting later where you expose that metal. You can just go ahead and use it as it's intended to be used. And it just, it just works great, guys. Again, make sure to give Dad a hard time about the pink bandana. <laughs> And uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy some bread. So, I'm going to take you on down here to Dad and his coffee. And let's check it out. Hopefully you guys can hear that little ringing that this is making because it's vibrating. That water's just about done. It's almost at the temperature that I like to go ahead and put the coffee in. I see a little steam coming out of here. I thought that that would make a difference when I was baking, letting heat out. And I can cover that up with another little piece of stainless steel that I have, but so far it hasn't made a difference at all. Right now we're at the point where I want to go ahead and add the coffee to it. So... So steam coming out there. Well, that's a rolling boil and it's a little hotter than I want it to be, but that's okay. It won't take long to uh, put it to cool down. So the coffee has steeped. There's that wonderful foam we're looking for. So we get a close up of that. That is just that's a pot full of wonderful right there. And now for the French press. Now with these silicone rings, if you just get those wet. Basically all you do, just press that down in there. And you'll see that it pushes that, the coffee grounds down. And what you're left with is just beautiful coffee. <laughs> now at this point, you know, being that we have removed the pot from a heat source, you can put your regular lid back on. And actually, over here by the fire, I opted not to put that on because there's flame here and I don't want, to, want this to melt. Continue to use that. But now that we're ready to consume this coffee, you can put that back on. So we're going to pour some. And folks, it just does not get any easier than that. Look at that. 
That's beautiful. Now, you don't over pour because it will come out of here. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the idea is to get it to come out of the spout. So <laughs> pour slowly. Beautiful black coffee. Beautiful black coffee. So, now we're going to mix. Uh, I'm going to add some creamer and sugar in mine. So, those are our two loaves. Great looking pieces. All right, let's go ahead and break these bread. Break this bread. Which one do you want? The bigger one? Uh, you take the bigger yeah, one. I'll take the bigger one. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Folks, that's just perfect. Yeah. Inside, look at that. <laughs> Inside of mine. Same kind of deal. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Added together with some black coffee. Of course, I'm going to have creamer and sugar in mine. You just can't get any better than this. Mm -mm. Alright guys, so here's my bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it done all the way through? Done all the way through. It's got a good mixture of the it's got the perfect density it's, it's not too light not too dense right there in the middle great loaf of bread got any jelly Hot dog. Man. Perfect. All right, so Lord have mercy on my soul. Stowage, it's easy. Everything's cleaned out. Get a little excess water out. Well, I like to do this. This little homemade bag that I have. I'll take the pans and line them with my coffee and sugar. Coffee creamer and sugar. I'm going to go inside the bag. If I could properly open the bag, here we go. And this will go down inside here. Now this doesn't, this cap doesn't fit flush with this because these do and if you mash it down hard enough you will but you'll ruin the bottom of the uh, French press and you can see here these lips will fit just inside these intentions so you can get this down to almost closed let's, well, actually let's open that up a little bit That down to almost closed. But I don't want to force it because I don't want to break the bottom of the French press. So I'll leave it just like that. I'll take my my big stuff sack, put the lid down to the very bottom, and just put this right on top. And we are looking for a nesting cup or some kind of uh, something that can go on the bottom of this. 
So if you have any ideas of some things that might work or some things that you do know that work with this and that will nest on the bottom of this French press, please let us know down in the comments because we are definitely on the search for one. Alrighty folks, we're going to head on out. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Make sure to click the Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below. We do make a little commission off of that and that helps our channel grow. And that money that we get back from that helps us put towards gear and other cool things that we can bring out here and show you guys. So help us out. Click the Amazon affiliate links. And uh, hope you have a great day wherever you are. And as always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather. And God bless.